Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. In this video, uh, I essentially stumbled upon a very nice article and I wanna basically go over that article with you. I usually, uh, you know, before I sleep or if I have some time in the late evening, I try to read articles and blogs. This article published by One House is really fantastic. It shows a comparison between Apache Hoodie, Delta Lake and Iceberg. Let's see how, uh, why and how Apache Hoodie shines here, okay? So here is the article and this was um, posted by Kyle uh, and let's take a look at it. So asset transaction, we know all the three, they support asset transaction like insert, update, delete. That's great. Copy on write, they all support. Now see where hoodie really shines M more. Neither Delta Lake has the more and Iceberg also has limited functionality on that, right? Well, more, just basic, uh, more basically also stands for merge on read. So in cow, what happens is anytime you essentially um, want to make an update. So what happens is again, I, I don't want to cover too, too much, but assume this is your data file. Let's say an update came in. So what happens is it's going to create a whole new parquet file, right? But in more, what happens is this is your base file. All your update insert will be stored in a, in a log file. And then later on, based on the condition, uh, it will basically do the merge. Right. So more are much more efficient, uh, uh, you know, for late arriving updates. Right. So again, uh, very, very amazing that hoodie offers that right. Delta Lake does not have that. Now again, hoodie also shines here. Hoodie has an ability to do a bulk alert. So bulk insert. Right. So if you have a massive amount of data and you want to move the data into the data lake, bulk inserts can be really, really a game changer in terms of speed, performance and time aspect as well. Right. Uh, Delta Lake doesn't support, Iceberg doesn't have it, Hoodie has it. Uh, now here you can see efficient merge rights with record level indices. You know, um, here again, I have made a video, Hoodie has out of the box indexing option. For example, global index, non-global index, uh, you have, um, you know, out of the box, you can have HBase indexes, Bloom filters and lot more, right? So Hoodie shines there fantastically, right? Uh, bootstrap you know all of them they support that incremental queries this is amazing about apache hoodie right so apache hoodie supports out of the box incremental query which means uh, i have a video and a demo which means anytime you insert update delete you might want to process the new data right you don't want to process all the old data as well so hoodie has that right incremental queries right you could write incremental queries uh, i think they are limited in delta and iceberg probably time travel they all have it that's great um, of course uh, then here hoodie has a managed ingestion. So hoodie has a very, very popular called Delta streamer. I think so many customers are using Delta streamer very popular and goes hands, hands in hand with Apache Kafka. Again, I have made videos on Kinesis and other stuff as well, but again, pretty cool feature that hoodie has. This is an amazing one. Basically hoodie supports out of the box concurrency. You can use dynamo DB base lock table and other option as well. Other frameworks such as, you know, um, Delta Lake and Niceberg have limited functionality on that. Primary keys, Hoodie has it. Delta Lake does not have, Iceberg does not have. Hoodie, basically when you create a table, you have to specify a primary key. So again, as you see, observe like Hoodie is check, checking checkbox in every single thing, right? So pretty amazing. So if you're looking to get started with Delta Lake, I think Apache Hoodie is the right place for you to learn stuff. Um, Column statistics and data skipping, Hoodie has that. Again, uh, partition evolution. Um, currently, Hoodie does not have it, right? Neither the Delta Lake has it, Iceberg has that, right? Uh, data duplication. This is something really amazing about Hoodie that I said, data de deduplication. So you can basically do dedupe using a precom key. If you need uniqueness across all the partition, you can use global index and a lot more, right? So again, I, I personally uh, would prefer um, hoodie for the dedupe purposes as well. File sizing, again, hoodie supports that. You can configure the file sizes. Other Lakehouse framework are limited and they, they I don't think they support file. I don't think you can configure them. Hoodie, you can do that. Compaction, yes, you can do that in hoodie as well. You can leverage the use of hoodie um, cleaner utility, right? Cleaning, compaction, you know, all of that supported hoodie, right? Index management, Hoodie has that. Delta Lake Iceberg does not have that. Uh, linear clustering, Hoodie has that, right? So if you observe, right, Hoodie does checkbox in a lot of stuff, right? 
Um, again, CLI option, uh, where, uh, Hodi also has its CLI, so you can interact with uh, its CLI. So if you're working with EMR, you can install. I think in the newer version of EMR, Hodi comes pre-installed. You don't have to install. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Again, um, data quality, yes. Pre-commit transformer, yes. Commit notification, yes. Again, I, I strongly, you know, basically uh, encourage you to read more and this in general to me shows where the trend is right uh, why people are much adopting hoodie other frameworks such as as i mentioned the main the main thing that i really love about hoodie is the more that is merge on read and cow hoodie offers the flexibility then the another, another key point is bulk ingest if you have a massive amount of data and you want to load it faster hoodie supports that out of the box Index options, right? Uh, Hoodie has various index options. You can bring your own implementation. And I guess the last one that I love, I love personally is the dedupe part. So uh, Hoodie has primary keys. You can also use pre-com keys for dedupe purposes. You can, uh, if needed, if you wanna have uniqueness across all the partition, you can also use a uh, global index. Uh, so basically my suggestion for any new person who wants to get into data engineering or probably want to uh, go into data lake stuff i think it is a pretty good time you can start with apache hoodie you can uh, you know start working on apache hoodie locally on your computer as well i have more than 37 videos on apache hoodie so if you are new and if you just want to learn apache hoodie or if you're trying to learn apache hoodie these all resources will really really help you and again you can go and read further um, benchmark as well right uh, i'm sure uh, Hodi has checkbox everywhere, right? So with that being said, let me know your thoughts below in the comment section below, right? And if you have any more questions, let me know and I will uh, try my best to answer. And I do want to uh, let you know that we also have announced a learning section in the Slack channel uh, in Apache Hodi. We have 2,700 uh, members and growing uh, there, right? So come join us ask questions meet new developer uh, and yeah let's uh, basically hoodie together and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next video guys